Today is General AK, and I came to address civilians, and you were leaders alike, and a society of humans as a whole, bro. Now, I don't know if what you know what a patriarchy or a matriarchy is. Growing up, I thought, I don't want to say I was taught, but from just being in the world, I came to the conclusion that having women as world leaders could be disastrous because of what? Women are more emotional. And a man thinks with logic. That's a fact. But here's the thing, bro. <laughs> Let me tell you something. We're going to talk about man and woman and the nature. See, I usually don't talk men and women, but today we'll talk a little bit. Why not? Let's talk men and women. See, as a general, I come to tell you that we have a problem of uh, <laughs> national security, more like globally. If you're my age, hell, if you're older, then you probably live and watching this in this time period. All right, not 100 years from today or something. Then you know all we've had to experience is being having um is being led. I don't see I don't get led. But having leaders that are men, world leaders, president man. So this is the example we had to see, right? I tell you this as a man, a real man. Not like these pussies. Yeah, real man. Don't like it, do something about it. You see this manliness? That's the whole issue. What they call toxic masculinity, it's not an issue. See, most of you think, most of you are short-sighted and small-minded. You don't think <laughs> long-term, you only see men, women, only fans, girls, can't they, they. You want to know why? I'll tell you why you can't get no girl. And don't worry, I'm not going to call you a pussy. It's because of what I'm talking about. We have men as leaders, son. To those of you who grew up in a household where you had your ass, where you got physically disciplined, I got beat up. Don't worry, I'm not, big, I'm not seeking no sympathy. I come to tell you this. If you had that example where your dad Huh? When your dad hit, what happens? You go crying to mama. What does mama do? See, mama know you, you did wrong. Mama know you might have deserved that and maybe more sometimes. But even if you did or you didn't, mama going to nurture you. Even if mama cold, she ain't going to... Your natural instinct is to go to mama because man and woman... Man is supposed to be hard. Man is supposed to go to war. Well, men, see, men respect each other usually. Because when disrespect happens, it leads to violence. You live in 2023. It, it used to be a fist. But as a nation led by a man, it's not a fist, it could be a sword, right? It could have been, what's that thing? Bow and arrow? It could be a, uh, you know, the, how the, the cannon? It could be the, the glizzy? It could be a Oppenheimer atomic. Y'all got so good at destruction. You split the atom. Phew. Atomic, it could be the N word and not and nuclear. 
And we got this example of a world, mostly, 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 men as our leaders. Having a male leader, that's called a patriarchy. That's what it is. All right? Matriarchy is a female. Now, I'll tell you this, bro. And I'm not a blue hair liberal, nothing. But I'm sick of having men as leaders. Look where it got us. Your dad, he going to whip you in the shape. You guys, most of you never experienced dictators or being around them or nothing. But this is one thing they always say. Rule, with a, rule them with an iron fist. <sighs> Talking about you. Your dad going to hit you. Your dad might be emotionally unavailable. All right? In the West, male Western leaders, they treat you. See, the government, the leader, the word for uh, for have for your leader, president, king, whatever, in, a, in Arabic, Arabia is called wali al-amr, which also means parent or guardian, like a legal guardian. So the government, your government's supposed to treat you like it's baby. Ah. Uh-huh. My baby. The Western male example has been, they treat you just like a white father would treat their children. Yep, you're 18. Time to move out. Good luck, buddy. Tough. Oh, you can't pay rent? Tough luck, buddy. (laughs) That's the patriarchy we got. President, we can't pay rent. Uh, it's too expensive. Groceries. How are you going to do this with the oil? Punish them. Rule with an iron fist. And as men, we would let to believe that the woman example, that's going to have us in wars. Hmm? <sighs> New Zealand. That guy wouldn't hit the mosque up. Now, how do I say this? If they had a male president, he would have had his PR team tweet. It's just so unfortunate. He would be somewhere chilling, like, fuck the Muslims. Get out of my country. But they had a fem- they have a female prime minister in New Zealand. Would you believe me? See, I, I don't. I want to say cute, but it was it was heartwarming. She, the head of the state, the nation. She wore a scarf like a hijab, and she went personally to that to the victims of that. She hugged them. I want a hug too. Give me a hug. <laughs> I need a hug, man. I don't get a hug. I get Bill C-11, Bill C-18, Bill C-12. Come on, bro. C-4. What's going on? I think I'd like to experience a matriarchy. Woman may be emotional. But women see another woman, even if they hate each other. Oh, my God, girl, you're so pretty. Oh, my gosh, I wish I was you. You're so hot. They don't say, teach Tehran, teach Qatar. Hundred shooters at your door. Come on, bro. On an individual level, human to human, the reason men are so cuckoo, so we can protect the woman. It is true. I'm a real man, and I tell you, women are the number one gender. 
they bring life. We are there to protect her and her environment. Think about it. It's not, they say men rule the world. They're not supposed to. No one is supposed to rule you anyway. That's not natural. <laughs> the only reason the system exists is because you are a threat of violence. Otherwise, there would be no government or president, nothing. But to justify it, they got to baby us. So if you baby me, at least baby me good. The woman is nurturing. At least before feminism, not the not this bullshit they got today. Her nature is to be nurturing. Oh my god! You come to her in pain. She's gonna treat the people motherly. Right now, the U.S., Canada, specifically us, we're in very, very. See, the problem is in your face, bro. No offense to my chubby viewers. I love you all. I was once of weight myself. But let's say this. Imagine this. If I'm an overweight dude, which you can still get girls, don't take this to heart. Just thinking theoretically here. If I'm a fat, sloppy motherfucker, double chinned up on a Tuesday afternoon, and I stink, and I have, let's just say, for example, hypothetically, I N C E L, I hang with like some of those, for example. And I'm mad. My problem is I can't get girls. Uh, the, the, I'm gonna use you guys as an example. The IN group, okay? They blame everything: the Chad, the Mad, the Brad, but they don't look at themselves and say, "Damn, I need to hit the, you know, get, hit the gym, get a BBL, like that man, something." You know what the problem is? Right now, everybody's angry all the time. Even the rich folks are angry. Everybody's mad, but everybody is so divided and against each other. Fuck, dude. Da -da -da. You go on YouTube, men and women, men and women. Like, it got to a point, y'all create. It's like you're trying to stir it up. And everybody going to tell you what the problem is because they, they're trying to get your clicks. I'm going to tell you what the solution is, son. You hating everybody, your brother. You being so divided is exactly what they want. Who? What's the conspiracy? It's not. It's simple. You're stupid. It's in front of your face. Instead of going to sleepy and being like, "Listen, bitch ass nigga, stop trying to suppress Bitcoin and sue Coinbase over stupidity." Okay, and force central bank digital currency on us. For example. And, and, and play this little game you played with the OPEC and have gas prices go up and everything else go up. Instead of that, maybe it's simple. You fix it, you fix everything else. Don't be mad at the girl because she's doing OnlyFans. Bitch ass nigga, she doing what she got to do. Would I... Turn to doing crime and trapping if I had opportunities available that was legitimate? Of course not. But they got to create this uh, closed door so you can go do those stupid uh, illegal so then they can feed this pris industrial prison system. It's not that hard. But y'all don't fight. Y'all don't unite. Because if you united, that's, that's the issue. If men and women were cool, they're going to be mad at dog. If you hate united with everybody around you, instead of being so divided and all this hate because of what's going on, united, you'd fix it in an instant.
and I'm not trying to make people unite, so I don't want to get myself assassinated. All I'm saying is, it's time we need a matriarchy, man. I'm down. We need a woman leader. My dad was tough, all right? I might have hit my, let's say what? I'll give you an example. Oh, I hit my leg. Oh, dad, I hit my leg. So what? Man up. Man up. You're a man. Eat it. But you go to your mom, she's going to be like, oh, you know. You feel me? So if we had a woman, politics is mafia, dog. They all going to get their money. But the woman going to have some heart for you. She gonna nurture you a little bit. If we had a woman, there would be no feminism. And just like I said earlier, this whole concept of ruling and rulership is a concept we had to accept as reality at the threat of what? That's what it is. You know why women couldn't vote? Not because they're stupid, because our system, women are so emotional, they cause wars. The world was at war 24 7. World War I, World War II. Come on, son. Women couldn't vote, not because they were stupid or emotional. No, no, no. Because if people had to go to war, the women won't go to war. So the system you created, I see New Zealand nurturing, caring. If they had a male, he would have never gave a fuck. Keep it 100. If they had a male, prime minister, they had a male, you think he'd go out there and hug the people? Nope. How many mass shootings happen in the US? Hate, hate motivated or not. You ever get a hug? All you get is a tweet. <laughs> not even a press conference. That's all you get. Eat it up, you're a man, man up. That's what he said. I'm sorry, man, but I'd rather grandma than grandpa. Because grandpa sold us to China. And the Chinese are the ones who, this is, I'm sorry, this is my opinion, YouTube, not this information. I personally believe this, I'll tell you. COVID was created in the lab. It was spread to the world with the sole purpose and motivation of making everyone else go down, temporarily or not, for the sake of world domination of China over powers like the US and them. What's his name? Went out of office, Trump? Racist, crazy, call him what you want. But Sleepy Joe came in, Trump had money. Millions. Sleepy Joe ain't, ain't got ain't that rich. So he had Hunter take some money from me from the Chinese gov. Proven, documented. So everything is going according to plan for Mr. Xi Jinping. Perfect. You being divided is not by accident. The media is curated to stir up the pot. Go on TikTok. Who run TikTok? Exactly. COVID in the lab, you're crazy. Shut the fuck up. On Chinese TV, documented and proven, son. So many people, Xi Jinping circle and other military generals. They go on TV, they're like, they don't want the smoke. We got bioweapons, bioweapons, bragging. And then COVID pop out mysteriously. It did not pop out from the fucking market, stupid. 
it popped out from the lab in Wuhan. And the woman that tried to warn the WHO about it, they disappeared her after what happened. happened. They went as far to Photoshop her out of old pics like she never existed. I'm not saying go out there and do nothing. All I'm saying is, and sleepy, keep your money, bro. It is what it is. I can't knock your hustle. Well, you sold enough. You made enough money. There's people in pain. And all I'm saying is, my dad whip me. <laughs> Take my, what's my college place? To, whatever. And I go, dad, please. Man up. No. I want, I want some softness. If we had a woman, we wouldn't be at war with anybody. Even if she fake it. Mwah, you're so pretty. Fake it. That's what politics is. Y'all be lying more than you drink water. Even if she was like Hillary. You know Hillary. She'd have some type of inner nurturing instinct. And have men as generals and stuff. Perfect system. I guarantee you the world would be better. Ancient Egypt was a matriarchy. And they built pyramids. <laughs> what did you build? You built the only fast pays to go buy that, huh? And then go online and stir up the pot. Get out of my face. That's my take on it. We've tried the men. It's time for some ladies, man. And nobody gonna wanna hurt your country when she's hot. Imagine this terrorist. In, 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 let's say, like, Afghanistan. He hasn't seen a woman in forever. Do you know they go and kidnap men and make them dance as a part of their... They're so anti-gay, right? But they there's a thing in Taliban. <laughs> oh, oh, men, men. You see a woman? How you doing, ma'am? Hey. <laughs> I've had it with Sleepy. War, war. Come on, bro. Even when he would draw, he create war. The Taliban situation. <laughs> and again, America, you, you did all what you did. When you leave, take your guns with you, bro. They, gave, they left their stuff behind. Now Taliban took over the country. You know what that's like? I'm gone. That's like... That's like this. That's like the anti-gang squad goes to a neighborhood of Bloods and Crips, for example. And they bring all their artillery. Whack them. Take out the Bloods, take out the Crips. And then 10 years later, they're like, Nah, it's over. I'm going home. I'm going home. And then they leave what? They leave all the guns behind. And the Bloods and Crips take over the country. And the Bloods and Crips take over the country. That's the same thing. The Taliban, a terrorist organization, took over a nation. Think about that. Imagine Osama as your president. That's what happened. Or whack 100. <laughs> Hit like, smash, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.